here the new unit with the system view and it keeps getting alerts for the economizer but as soon as we look over here see that the, uh, these companies have been installing these pelican systems and kind of notice that some of these in and outs are for the actuator however this unit here controls the actuator the output and the feedback comes right here on this j7 terminal to here and it's not going to be happy <laughs> if it isn't controlling it so we kind of go over here to the actuator and you see here's the wires from uh, the pl6 carrier connector cut and the brown thermostat wire I guess whoever installs these pelicans doesn't like using good stranded wire. <laughs> they run thermostat wire for everything, but they, they did a number over here to kind of put their own stuff to the actuator. And they want to control the actuator directly. So uh, the simplest fix, of course, is just going to be turn off the economizer in that system view so it doesn't expect it. And that'll turn off all those 700 faults. But yeah, that's interesting. So it's also why it's got an enthalpy sensor fault. Yeah. So one wire's oh wide wire, see they unplugged it. So that's why you're uh could plug this in because it has to have an outside air temperature. Third look like they kind of took the holes. So Pelican people are doing this. Going to settings here. Should be unit configurations. Let's see, might be under general, but oh, nope, economizer. Might make me do the password once we get it here. See so it says vent method is econ. Mm -hmm. So it's expecting to see all those sensors. So, yeah, here's, you go, one, one, one. And I don't know until we try it if that will automatically get rid of that uh, no enthalpy sensor thing. But I would think it would all have to do with this, or why would it need it? So, whoop, there it went. It auto-cleared that faults. Oh, wow. Yeah, because it says I don't have an economizer now. It's kind of a shame because this is made to control it, and they could just connect back net right here. <laughs> one setting. I know. That's why when they come out here, because you gotta get the hands on, you know. But yeah, so this stuff is like it's like what a shame. So they got this, and then these people are shoehorning in these systems, which at least is getting small. You see them like move stuff to fit their stuff. It's little, but then they're like going from here to their data, and then they're controlling your thermostat like this to here. It looks like uh, supply air, return air, outside air, which are all those sensors they added, all with crappy wire, right? Ready to break. And then uh, this is your analog inputs and outputs for your uh, economizer. So this is doing it so they can see it on the front end. But if they just knew how to use BACnet and just use their board to communicate to this, it would take bring in all these points to the front end and do more than what that's doing. But I think I heard somebody say that there's rebates going out or something for putting this stuff on buildings. But it's like they're neutering the Cadillac, you know, to put this third party stuff in with thermostat wire and solid core wires and sensors strung all over the place. And this system came with all the sensors you needed. So that's kind of a shame. We're going to look at the alert for this one remaining that popped back up. So it's an alert, not a fault. So it's running. t stand proper heat. Sending a W2 without W1. The unit's still going to run. Okay, with the white put on W1. And it's a match over here. Now you can see G is on, which they did program that. And W1 is on before W2. W2 is not on. And then I think if you go to just the regular run status... It'll say heating, probably, uh, I think this mode, probably say heating prevented. Mm -hmm. And there's no alerts or faults, so that's just a time guard, I think, right now. It'll probably come on about a couple more minutes. Oh, okay. So demand does say low heat. So low heat, high heat. Okay. Pretty much all these units, low heat's just going to be both compressors. Right. And then high heat would be the electric heat strip that it does, you probably don't have. Unless you did add them. But another unit next to that one's got system view, so of course it's got the alerts and stuff like that mechanical disconnect econ mechanical disconnected so that's why press enter. press enter so here's your faults but again here's the uh, input outputs for that stuff and uh, these people took over the economizer so yeah so we'll do it on this one another one too settings unit is big Ah, one more time. Keep going. And that's it. You don't have one now. <laughs> so that'll go away. 
for that fault anyway. Might take a second. <laughs> 